Hello everybody. Travis here for Teeple's Corner with a new hit at Sugo and Carry deck. And I'm not sure that we've got the right lands to start with really, but we'll run with it. I've, I've already been land starved twice in a row, so... I don't think they're allowed to land starve me three times in a row. I need to at least get four or five lands out in a match someday. Okay, there's four of them. And this is Nisa, Resurgent Animist. Okay, so I think we'll just let that one go away now. I disappeared. I went on uh, an unexpected and forced vacation for a couple weeks. I got sick. Uh, if you tuned in at the end of the last video, I could feel it coming on. It was a contagious kind of sick. It was one of those where, hello, hit it, Sugo and Carry, right on time. It was one of those things where I could not come out of the room. Okay, back and breach the multiverse, and Commercial's Hellraiser is expensive, so those can go on top of the deck. Oh, and they never mind. Okay. They have played this game before. <laughs> they have seen that creature before. They want no part of it. Okay, I, I'll still be in trouble if I get Landstar two in a row before I get to win, so... Uh, one step forward and two steps back. This one's called Demon Treasure. I've done, I don't know, four or five of the Hidetsugo and Carry decks already. It's one of my favorite cards in the set. I, I think it's overpowered, and I don't think that they realized exactly how overpowered it is. The original Brainstorm card only cost, I think, one blue, if I remember right. So they added on four cost and gave you a 5-4 flyer with it and uh, some extra stuff that allows you to cast cards for free. So I've done red before, um, but I haven't burned any new wild cards, so I still only have one copy of Explosive Singularity. If hit it, Sugo and carries on the field and it dies, and this is the top card, we get to cast it for free. It'll do 10 points to any target, which will direct usually at our opponent's face. And then the spell itself does 10 damage to any target. Um, so, oh, sorry, it is the... The initial hit is automatically going to be at the opponent no matter what, right? Target opponent loses life equal to the 10 mana value of the card. Then we can deal 10 damage to any target. So this makes it a one-turn kill. Um, but um, I added in some other different cards for red that we haven't used before. I've got the new Trumpet and Carnosaur from Ixalan. Uh, we've got three Capricious Hellraisers. And I've got four Fall of Krug. I've done Fall of Krug before in a previous deck, but it was very des carefully designed to be a land destruction deck. It was an arcane bombardment land destruction deck uh, focused on getting out the Fall of Krug. This one I didn't focus so much on getting out the Fall of Krug. I just, you know, it's a it's a nice six drop card that uh, we can play with hit it, Sugo and carry if they die, and and actually maybe see if we can get rid of some lands. I. I sort of decided to do this strategy because of the new release of Ixalan, and they have so many specialty lands that uh, there should be a lot of targets, right? I do have two Field of Runes like usual, um, but, you know, a lot of people are just running like three, four Merix lands now too, and that's kind of uh, disgusting to me. So uh, we've got an answer for it in this particular deck. The rest of what we've got, we've got four Witness Protections to make them lose all abilities this is for the cards like Shieldred where they get lazy and they just want to sit there and not attack me and just let Shieldred do all the work by just drawing cards. So this would neutralize Shieldred. We've got one Negate for countering target non-creature spell, one Diabolic Intent. This is, um, I always like to find uh, other alternative uses for a card. This card wasn't so much designed to be a tutor card so much as just to sacrifice hit it to and carry if I need to and uh, guarantee that I get that top card that I want off the deck to hit my opponent's face. Uh, however, Diabolic Intent is a fun card because um, you get to search for any card and I could probably just go get a second hit at Sugo and Carry and rinse and repeat. So it's kind of fun. Um, we've got four Shieldred's Edict, which is my utility black removal card. Three Siphon Insights, which um, since I do have a chance to get land starved a lot, 
um, just the natural way of magic online. Um, I might just take a bunch of land from them with the Siphon Insights. I do have one Celestis uh, to help me out with uh, digging for, for stuff. I've got 25 lands, so the one land is extra, or you can consider the Celestis is the 61st card. Um, I believe I mentioned the two Urtai Resurrected, so a little bit extra counterspell in the deck if I want to. And uh, for bigger removal board wipe, two copies of Burn Down the House. Um, over here on the big side of what we want to use the spells with, hit it to and carry when they die. Uh, what else do we have? We've got uh, Chimley, the Inner Sun. This is actually, we don't want to, we don't want to lose this. We'd rather just cast this. Um, so in case we come up against Counterspell deck, it'll be fun. I've got two copies of Breach the Multiverse, and that's always fun. That's a very common technique with hit it to go and carry. I've got one Virtue of Persistence. And one hit the mother load, which is also new from Ixalan, allows us to discover for 10. Uh, and if the mana value is less than 10, then we get a number of tap treasure tokens equal to the difference. So we'll see if we can play that at least once. It'll be hard because I just have one copy, but we'll see if it comes up. And a lot of non-basic lands, you know, Ottawara, I've got one Takanuma to bring a creature back if I can get that off um, for, let's see, where is, I've got one of the, there, Restless Reef. Uh, for four mana until end of turn it becomes a blue and black shark creature with death touch and when it attacks target player mills four cards so fun stuff all around when i got back to the computer of course there was already another software update from nvidia so i don't know how many times i've restarted the computer to try and make sure before i went to start recording that it was going to start recording properly that it was going to record the file in the right place so i could locate it easily you know um hopefully the sound levels are good and nothing's changed or mucked those up but i will continue to rely on your feedback in the comments if the game noise is too overpowering or my voice is too soft or if my computer fan is back to being overbearingly loud that kind of thing y'all just have to let me know okay And they really did give me all the expensive stuff up front. And we don't like Scrap Gorger because they can exile stuff. Trample and haste. Ugh. That's a good start for them. And... I always was hoping to keep this in reserve but we can't afford to wait um they might ramp some more with something i guess we'll, we'll hold on to trumping carnosaur just in case they put out another damage dealing creature oh that's too big as well it's also got haste is that five yeah so i guess i should have taken out the scrap gorger after all so this will be a quick battle right um, I can do Witness Protection there and make that a 1-1 and get rid of the poison. And we can discard this now. Go ahead and deal 3 just so they don't ramp as much. But we're still kind of dead next turn, aren't we? Especially if they have one more haste creature. Now that can turn into the Roar of the Fifth People, though. My I don't think it matters anymore what I do. Yeah, we're, we have nothing. We cannot do anything. Missed a land drop against dinosaurs. You can't do that. Arena just gave me all of my expensive cards, and that was pretty much it. Which can be a hazard of this deck. Um, it's I tend to heavy stack all my hit at Sugo and Carry's deck. The win ratio turns out to usually be better than 50%. Uh, so it's usually not that big a deal. But let me just go in because I didn't do this yet. We'll give you a quick overview here. 4.3 average mana cost. Uh, doesn't let you know that we're going to cast a lot of stuff for free. But you can see we do have a lot of cards that are very expensive there. We've got 14. So the, the mana curve looks a little bit lopsided there, doesn't it? Okay. 
it let us get out the, the creature once and the opponent scooped it after that when they scooped that fast you never know if arena's gonna put you up against something guaranteed to knock you out or not eventually at some point you get to a place where i can just get normal land draw and have a normal match and not have the opponent scoop that would be a little more exciting For those who are newer to the channel, I had, for the very first couple of years, I had a ban on burning any wild cards. So that's why, that's one of the reasons why I'm not running like four copies of the biggest red spell and four copies of Breach the Multiverse and that kind of thing. But the other reason also, is, oh, this is going to ramp again, right? Let's put you down to one run. Get rid of your mana generation. Uh, but the, the thing is... I had a chance to go watch some YouTube stuff while I was penned up in my room. I couldn't access my computer, but I had my phone. And there's a, I'm so bored at seeing Shieldred decks. You know, you know, so I don't have Shieldred in this deck. So that's a lot of my stuff is very purposely like counter-programming towards what you'll see on YouTube now, I think. Uh, when people talk about the, the meta getting stale, I mean, I understand people feel like they, they have to use Shieldred, maybe? Sacrifice a non-token creature. These wolves are just so cheap. It's almost not worth using Shield or Zedic, but... That's who... They get the choice on who to sacrifice from that, so... We're living with that. something just yet another cheap are we just gonna get killed by we're gonna get curb stunned by cheap stuff again let's go get a second red source we'll go try and stall things a little bit with what we got and we might be able to pull this off if we get one more untapped land we're just kind of turning into the story of That is not... Okay. Um, I guess we're passing. I can get rid of the pup at least this way. Hang on. Destroy. There we go. Make sure I choose the right thing. They get some life gain which you don't care about as much. And we can chump block, and this way if they have a battle tactic we learn about it now. No, we're just clearing the clearing the realm here. Clearing the field. Uh oh. That one's not good. How about let's do this? And what kind of choices do we have here? I think we have those choices. Almost any creature that they have that they put down, once they get it beefed up with Helena and Elena, they can give it haste and run it in. But it's interesting that we get, ended up getting... I don't have a lot of other creatures in the deck. I got all three of the Capricious Hellraisers all in a row. That's a little unusual. Okay, who are they going to give the haste and the plus up to? They're going to give it to the Lord of Udenwald. I think I have to do this, which means they're going to get two points. I get six points on their face. We lose one of our dragons. What do you do with all this energy? Nothing. Okay. Instead of another hit at Sugo, let's put out another Hellraiser instead. And we can choose one of these. Excellent. I'll probably get rid of the pack leader, yes. And now we wait for their next creature to run up against us. Which will also kill us. Hello. 
Ouch. That's got trample too. It can't really can't really not block it, right? I think we're dead again. So I was supposed to do hit it to go and carry. That's all there is to it. Okay, um, so here I don't really have much of a choice because we're gonna put that up to six. Okay, so I can do this. Make you sacrifice yet another one. And how many creatures are they going to have in a row? Look at this. At some point, they've got to run low on creatures for a turn. They've been matching me on land. Finally, we get a break. Okay, I need... No, I can't use Witness Protection. I need both of my blue mana sources to get to carry. And there's a couple of nice spells. No attacks we can't afford to. Our health is just too low. And we need to neutralize Lana and Elena. Sweet. Alright. Um, well, let's just do this. Um, sorry, let's see. Destroy. We get a choose target opponent, then destroy that land. And we neutralize the line on Elena so they don't pump up anybody else. Oh, and we had already done one point of damage. I'm going to go ahead and swing it for four points. As soon as we made them a, a citizen, they became a 1-1, one, one, and they already have one damage on the stack. So, what do we do here? I think we just let it die. How many of those did we go through? Okay, we get some power back. Um, I don't have enough to summon the next hit it's going to carry, so we swing in again. We just got to guard against a haste attack. There's a certain werewolf in here that they can pump up as well. And they've got a couple ways to do trample. Um, I feel like this is another one I want to do, but let's do this instead. Okay, so we're going to keep the existing one. We're going to switch this in priority. And I don't know that I've covered this before, but when you have two of them, it always defaults to having um, you exile whatever the top card is in your library. We want to make sure that we get priority here for the first to draw the cards first and choose. Because we're automatically going to get to use the big one. Ooh, Breach the Multiverse is next. I want to use Fall of Krug, actually. Because that's what I base the deck around. So we do this again. Choose the opponent. Get rid of the green mana source. And that was enough to kill him with the spell. I wasn't even paying attention to their life total. Yeah, that's six points of damage to their face after all of our choices were done. And then if they killed it, it's going to carry. That would have been another seven if they'd somehow survived. Um, and even if they didn't, we had enough energy that we could have just cast it. So. Held the line against all the cheap little onesies, twosies, just long enough. And we got a card! Stroke of Midnight. I wonder how many of those I have now. I might have four by now. Oh, it's good to be back. It's it's tough getting back on the saddle again. I was I kept up such good momentum for the last two and a half years. I haven't been away for this long. I was starting to get strange emails from Arena, from Wizards of the Coast. They noticed I wasn't around. Like, I would get just this influx of e daily emails near the end of, Oh, hey, come on, why don't you try this? Hey, log on and do that. And all this sort of stuff. And uh, it was it was mildly hilarious. Oh, good. We got Field of Rune we can use already, so we can do some mana fixing. 
but we're not going to fix the mana yet because I do need three red sources to get out the Hellraiser. But I also need to start getting on my blue more importantly. Ooh. Planeswalker right off the top. You're all part of the great machine that is Phyrexia. It's Join the us. Do they keep in it? Perfect harmony. They want the land, they keep the land. They don't get to keep the planeswalker. Okay, not the still wanted more land, but we'll take it. Go get my one island. And now I can start doing siphon insight and little tricks like that. And we wait for them. Do they need to be double white or double green? Double white? Well, they have the double the double land already, so it doesn't matter. They can cast anything they feel like. This will give me five. Let me wait a second. White Sun's Twilight. Hmm. Okay. I do like that. I'm not going to play this land yet. What do I need? Three? I need to destroy all other creatures, so I need to be seven total. Another planeswalker. I will protect you, Phyrexia, until the invasion. Be Welcome, okay. my companion. Now we do this. And I think we're going to do burn down the house and breach the multiverse. I'll submit them. I'll submit burn down the house first if they don't kill me I'll just cast it next turn that'd be perfect or if they kill me you know it just gets cast now either way gets rid of all the threats our strength multiplies except what do they what can they cast for six mana a lot of stuff oh they're gonna kill me excellent okay thank you Five points to their face, and five damage to everything else. All of those go away. Foolish to reject our gift. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Um, I think we just need to keep this as land and keep the land thing going. Um, one damage to a creature. That's going to do one damage to me if I get rid of one of their lands. Let me go do this instead. Renard Rot Priest. Let me take the land. I already played the land though. That's gonna be tapped, isn't it? Shoot. No oh, well. I probably should have taken the Rot Priest. They have yet another mythic rare planeswalker already. Is this mostly a super? Harm the trees, and you will rot at their roots. Heed the trees. Okay, they prepare for war. I needed land. Okay, so we can do that to you. Um, I can put down that for land now. Will White Sun's Twilight work next? We will help you find safe ground. I'm nearly, I'm half dead after this hit. Look at that. They have a lot of good stuff, don't they? I wonder if they're going to try... They've got enough. Why don't they try and bring out Center's Judgment now? They do. That's what negates for. Alright, we could try to hit Itsugo and carry, but let me try this first. Auto pay. Use their own spell against them. This is starting to take long. We'll have to make this the last one. I got the, the entire Dead forest is an army. So I got hot food waiting for me coming up. 
Okay, I think this is fine. We do this now. And we've got a couple of nice spells right there. That's a good order for them. Bring this down, bring this down. And these five can't block anyway, so... Just run them in. Now he really can't afford to kill me. If he, if he kills Hidetsuko and Carry, that's pretty much going to be game. Reach the multiverse! What kind of fun stuff? Oh, let's get a Phyrexian Vindicator from him. Because I don't have one of mine. Oh, and an Urtai Resurrected. Sweet! And we can destroy another target creature. And damage by his own spells does him in. And that's how the deck works. That was fun for me. And a good return to Arena. I have no idea what my production schedule will be for the rest of the year. It might be very light as I get back into the swing of things and re fully recover. But, as always, we remind you to like and subscribe. And I will attempt to get back into the saddle, increase my output, get it back to where it was. Let me know what you think of the Demon Treasure deck. Let me know if you like the Fall of Krug element. Uh, or if you don't like anything. I'm willing to take healthy criticism, too. Alright, thanks everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.